that's a good question. I think before race, some of the biggest mistakes they make are more physical in nature and nutritional in nature, meaning they become dehydrated, yeah. that, that they don't have the proper nourishment. The biggest thing is, is um, the nutrition part of things. And I'm not a nutritionist, so I can't tell what that, tell that athlete out there watching or listening yeah. what to eat. I can tell you what not to eat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's easy to say you can't drink soda before you swim. It's easy to say that you shouldn't drink milk before you swim. I mean, there, there's things that you shouldn't have French fries before you swim. Those are, that's common sense to me. So yeah. the biggest mistakes those athletes make a lot of times are they're not putting the proper fuel in their body. So when they get up on the block, they're not in full capacity. So as far as uh, the other mistake, biggest mistake I found, is proper warm up um, and proper warm down. That's at post race, obviously, but that post race leads to the next race. So if somebody's swimming twice, make sure you warm up properly and make sure you warm down properly. These are kind of cliche ish in their answers. Yeah. But I can't begin to tell you how many athletes don't warm down properly after race. And, it, and even those that do it properly, they don't do it soon enough. So the lactic acid is already set in, right? They wait 20 minutes before they go warm down. They'll watch four or five more heats of their buddies swimming yeah. instead of really going to, to swim down. It's the same thing with warming up. You know, they'll warm up and they'll get out two hours before they swim. Yeah. <laughs> they won't warm up again. So I always, you know, and these are little dinky things, but those are a couple things that come to my mind. Think about it.